Kenya's Wildlife Service credits intensified surveillance for the drop in rhinoceros poaching cases to zero last year, the lowest number in two decades. The agency says it's also taking measures to maintain the progress, such as conducting a wildlife census for the first time. There's a new strategy in the entire KWS that we're focusing on housing uh, for rangers. We are focusing on uh, buying them new equipment. Uh, be it the firearms, whatever they require, be it the uniforms, be it cold weather clothing, that they can be able to respond at, at all times. In Nairobi National Park, rangers with the rhinoceros monitoring unit are being upgraded from old tents. Ranger Augustine Mtua says new container housing units will help them to get to work protecting rhinos much faster. You have to, to wake up there in the morning, you cook your breakfast, then you wake up, you just walk out, going direct to the patrol. Not as the earlier as we are doing, we came out, you came out of the tent, you go outside to fetch water somewhere, you can see the, the tank there, then you come back to the kitchen, start preparing, oh, it takes a lot of time. Kenya had over 2 million tourists visit in 2019. Most go to see its rare wildlife, like the critically endangered rhinos. It's great that there's been no poaching. Um, this park is very well protected, which I'd say other parks are not as well protected. Poachers kill rhinos for their horns, which sell for up to $60,000 per kilogram in Asian markets as aphrodisiacs and status symbol. Poaching reduced Kenya's black rhino population by 97% from the 1960s to the 1990s, from more than 20,000 to just a few hundred. But conservation efforts helped Kenya's wild rhino population to recover to 1,200, some including the world's only two remaining northern white rhinos. Victoria Amunga for VOA News, Nairobi.